How's it going, guys? Welcome to the top 10 celebrity Spurs fans. Yes, I said top 10, not top five. We have taken it gigantic. It is a monumental first here on Spurred On. All right, in at number 10 is Jesse J. Yes, the Do It Like A Dude singer and former voice coach came to the lane in 2013 and was presented with her very own Spurs shirt. Lenny King gave it to her. That's something special. She came with her dad. She said she had a phenomenal day at the lane and we love you, Jesse J. Just put some more good music out, please. In at number nine is Rupert Grint, a.k.a. Ron Weasley. Now, when he's not casting spells or pretending to be Ed Sheeran, he's supporting Spurs. He's down at the lane, having it large, having a pint, just going completely mental, hanging around with Harry Winks. This guy's an absolute legend. And um, Rupert, if you see me, give me a high five. In at number eight is the one and only Adele. Hello, Adele. Hello, how are you? She is from Tottenham. She's one of our own, literally. I mean, I know Harry Kane's one of our own, but he's from Walthamstow. Adele is from Seven Sisters, right in and amongst it. She's an absolute bird. We love her. She's a laugh. She's been to so many Wembley finals, even though we've lost in all of them, like the one against Chelsea in the Carling Cup, or maybe the semi-final where we lost in a 5-1. She was there as well. But she always comes with her husband and supports the cause. Adele, I love you. I bought your album, but I haven't listened to it yet. In at number seven is the one and only Adam Richmond. This guy's an absolute legend. Man v Food, you must recognise him. When he first came to White Hart Lane, he actually shed tears. It was to an empty stadium, but he still, he felt the kind of atmosphere. Even though there was no one there, it overwhelmed him and he went to his knees and he embraced it and took it in. He's also been on Spurred On. You can go and check him out. Uh, type in Spurred On Adam Richmond. The guy's an absolute hero and we love him here. Make sure you come back. In at number six is the one and only Lord Sugar. He's an absolute legend. He used to be the chairman of Spurs, and now he just spends his time completely trolling Piers Morgan. Anytime Piers Morgan talks about Arsenal, he's in there retweeting it, making a joke, a bit of bad grammar, but it's cool because he's, he's a billionaire, so who cares if he makes mistakes? The guy is just an out-and-out -out Spurs supporter. He always has his say on what we're doing or who we should be signing or if we should be getting three points. And um, I absolutely love the man. I wish I could be him. Lend me some of your money. Lend us a fiver, Lord Sugar. Anything. I'll take it all. And uh, Adabio, you're fired. All right, so in at number five is the godfather of grime, Wiley. Now, Wiley, he happens to be from Bow, East London, but somehow he supports Spurs. He's always tweeting about them. He's always saying that he's disappointed. He's always saying that he's got a copper and he's watching us on the big box. But, Wiley, have you ever been to a game? That's what I want to know. Because if you haven't, let's go together, man. Just, you know, I'll give you my number. Follow me on Twitter and we can go down there and watch the match. I love you. In at number four is Sid <laughs> Owen. Now, I'm laughing when saying this because if you haven't seen the picture of him somewhere in a club in Essex, I'm assuming, with the likes of Chris Brown and Trey Songs, it's just ridiculous. He's just standing there like, just like excited to be there. Now, if you don't know who he is, he was in EastEnders. He played Ricky. Remember, Ricky, Bianca, Ricky. No, don't ring a bell. Well, anyway, we're just happy to have an EastEnders legend be a fan of the club. We need more of them. Ricky, Sid, whatever you want to call yourself, I love you. In at number three is Michael McIntyre. Now, Michael McIntyre is a huge Spurs fan. He's like Reese in 20 years. You know, he's got it all. I've seen him at the lane actually once. Well, not at the lane. He was kind of just walking down White Hart Lane past Chick King. And I was like, Michael. And he looked at me and just carried on walking um, and I felt kind of, do you know what Michael, I don't like you actually, why did I even put you on this list? You didn't acknowledge me and do you know what, you're now in the same book as Gary Lineker, because Gary Lineker didn't acknowledge me either when I saw him on the verge of train and yes I'm shy but I've had enough of both of you. But you're number three just because you're a legend in UK comedy. In at number two, and I actually love this guy, I do love him, if I was a girl I would, I would, it's Jude Law. This guy is such a smooth operator. The, he's not the original Alfie, but in my eyes he's the original Alfie because I haven't seen the original Alfie. This guy is just the man. Every time I see him, he looks dapper, he looks smooth. He's a great export for, for, for UK actors. And um, I would love to meet him, I really would. I would actually want to be him. Jude Law, what a guy, what a guy. Number one, numero uno, yeah man, come on. We know them way there. Come on, it's Bob Marley, yes, the original. Rastafarian, what can I say? He's just a legend, that's it. I don't even have to say anything else. Bob Marley was a Spurs fan, proving that Spurs fans are cooler than any other set of fans out there in the world. I don't care who your celebrity fan is. I just don't care. It could be flipping Bill Gates. I don't care. He's not cool, but it could be Bill Gates. But we have Bob Marley. It doesn't get cooler than that. That is it. We have won. We have completed everything. It's Bob Marley. 
All right, guys, that was my top 10 celebrity Spurs fans. Number one, Bob Marley. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with the list. Let me know if anyone we've missed out. There's loads of Spurs fans out there. I mean, let's face it, we're an amazing club and anyone should be proud to be a fan of us. But let us know in the comments below. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and keep it casual. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Spurverse. This is part one, a transfer special. I'm here with Craig and Emma. Welcome to the show, guys. 